Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Feed the Beast Interactions. This is our public server and it's open for everyone out there uh, who'd like to join our server. So uh, when you begin on the island, you get what you got. You do get an extra torch, which I threw overboard. Uh, the reason we start with a torch is, at least in single player, the islands don't light up properly. There's a lighting bug basically that happens. So place your torch like once here and then once on the other side and it should fix it. And when you hit F7, you should see no lighting issues because these are actually light sources. So just to let you know. Anyways, let's get started. I'm excited. So uh, when you first start this, uh, basically you start with a bunch of uh, stuff in your inventory. So first of all, this is your lunch pail. Your lunch pail will come with some food and uh, nutrients plays a, a big um, part of the pack uh, as you go on, especially once you want to leave. Uh, you got a quest book here. You can do whatever you want with the quest book. I'm going to place it over here for now uh, because I set mine into the config options here. So if we type in quest down here, quest open quests. I have it set to J. I set a lot of hotkeys, so you're going to have to do that, as well as there's probably going to be one probe and the mini-map and all that other crap over here. It's, it's going to be annoying, so when you first start, you're going to have to do a little bit of configuration. That's because they didn't include the client mods because or client configs because it would get overwritten every time. So when you open your quest journal here, uh, basically you're presented with a bunch of quests, a lot of tabs. It gets a little confusing, I can understand, but all you need to do is worry about the safe space area this is the island and before you think this is a skyblock pack think again literally this is a tutorial to get you onto the overworld of course what you make here and whatnot gets used in the overworld but you can't you know start spawning um say things like ores out of thin air uh like sieving and stuff like that there's no creative cheating type stuff that's happening really in that sense um, there's some equivalent exchange, you know, you do take a bunch of saplings and stuff and turn them into, you know, dirt and whatnot, but nothing, nothing too evil. So let's start. Uh, first of all, you get a lot of, you know, exclamation marks. So here, uh, this tells you how to use um, Together Forever. This is if you want to unlock the stages together, basically you and your friend, if somebody completes, like, say, unlocking the nether portal or something like that, then your friend also has it unlocked and then they can enter through the nether portal. Something like that. Pretty simple. So we'll just go check mark there. Uh, this one is forget, uh, okay, don't set your, your keybinds here. So recommended keybinds, things like that. So it's just telling you about keybinds and to set them, which we, we already did that before. Uh, this one, sorry, the, the stuff pops up in the way you can't really go. Uh, in this case, your library chisel, you chisel normal books and you're starting Feed the Beast. Oh, into other manuals. Okay. Um, so basically, you can actually chisel your quest book into other books. That's kind of cool. We'll look into that in a minute. And if we go down here, JEI, Feed the Beast uh, integration, just use the uh, check recipes keybind, default R on the request icon left. There's multiple items. If you have a mouse, back button, you recommend you bind uh, JEI to show, blah, blah, blah. Just telling you the basics of JEI, so we're going to check that out. And natural spawns or discs allowed in the void world, blah, blah, blah. So basically, you're safe here in the void world. Unless you do something stupid, like summon something to kick your ass. Uh, let's just skip that one for now. Press shift twice while in the quest UI to get a searchable list. So if we do this, you can search up things, which hey, that's pretty cool. So thank you. We understand that. And last one here on this side. Or excavation is meant for non-resource gathering convenience. You can shear leaves, gather up astral temples, or mow along. Basically, it's not meant to be used for everything instead you'll get tools over time to help you with that and tools meant for that instead um so this one now we're going to start on the actual main quests here uh if you see one of these quest icons it means this section contains information so basically information yay um we're going for full transparency. We start you off in the void because testers kept dying in the overworld. Take your time, get to know JEI and the quest book, and uh, uh, rush the pack progression at your own risk. Basically, it's saying don't rush. It's not worth it. So this is why the skyblock was here. Basically, testers were dying in the overworld, and they needed a better place. So read me. Uh, put the book in the transmutation table uh, to beat the pack. Congrats. 
So basically, you have Project E, which is a very unique way of doing this. I think I, I like it a lot. And basically, you have nothing you can put in here. And even if you try to put something else in here, it doesn't work. But what you do is you got this Tomb of Knowledge. And you can throw it in here, and you get some EMC. And basically, you've unlocked some recipes. Now, there's like maybe one or two hidden here uh, that you can get when you get more EMC in here. Uh, but not, not a ton, basically. So we can say we've done that. Uh, check mark and you get some pizza soup now you can leave it in there and gather it later uh, or you can even gather it up here so if we open the quest thing again you'll see it shows up here so you can actually stack them so let's say quick complete here this is basically if you lose your tomb somehow maybe you fell over and lost it uh, you get a second one and you can actually throw it in there oh, once you claim it but if you click this apple up here you can you know get all your rewards at one time so that's kind of cool um, anyway, so you can put your other knowledge in there and it's 64 MC now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can't put that one in there. You can't put the one. Oh, you can put the one probe one in there. The one probe, if you shift right click, you can set your one probe settings, but mine are already preset. So there you go. So we're, we're rocking now. Um, basically the first couple minutes on this pack is, you know, you're learning, you know, it's a tutorial. Uh, so grow trees faster, twerk, sprint around, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So Basically, that's the tree stuff, and then we're going to start working on the flint tools, which we can get flint from here. And to be honest, you, you can start right on the, the gravel and all that right away, too. So, because uh, you, you, you don't unlock sticks, do you? No, no. So, there you go. One, two, and then uh, flint, or oh, sorry, gravel. There you go. And oh, yeah, that's right. We can't do it yet because there's some things you have to do. So, one two and then uh, let's do three there you go we'll put you guys in here for now and anyway so let's go ahead hit your grave key by default i think it's set there and you can get rid of all the stuff there awesome and then you can get rid of the wood here as well but you can't do much with the wood yet so keep that in mind oh and you it's one piece of wood at a time so it's, it's a bit painful there you go Awesome. Okay, let's hit J here. So, um, let's talk about twerking. So, we'll do the twerking next here. And then it's talking about making your flint tools and stone rod. Ah, that's what it was. It was a stone rod. My mistake. I thought it was wood. Um, so, we can throw the wood in here and actually get uh, the stone. And that's, that's how they do it, actually, so you can make your early game uh, tools. So, uh, you take a couple cobblestone here, for example. And you put them in here and you get stone rods. And then I believe the way it works is you put these in different shapes. So this is a flint axe head. And uh, you should probably put this in your inventory just in case if it needs to get detected. I don't know if it needed to or maybe it already did. Um, and then you could put this in here together. And then look at that. You got a hatch. And that's your your first axe, and that'll get you started. And then we can place this guy down. Now, I would recommend just placing these around, but these kind of go into ugly super trees, right? So maybe it's best to get something that won't turn into ugly tree. Like birch saplings, I believe, don't turn into super ugly trees, I think. If they do, well, whatever. But basically, there you go. And we're going to go ahead. Don't use one of your things. Do your get rid of it as fast as possible. And then what we're going to do is use your uh, tilde key uh, and use... Oh, yeah, wait. It doesn't work on this. <laughs> Forgot about that. But what you can do is you can start shaving these off. So there you go. One, two. There you go. And we're shaving these off because you get bark out of it. But you're you're doing it for the logs as well. So you right. this is all right-clicking. This is actually a vanilla feature, I believe, in like 1.3 or 1.4. Um, so there you go. Now we can make a crafting table and then we can put this anywhere. We might have jumped ahead a bit here. <laughs> uh, so we, we got the ax. Apparently you need uh, a few more other things before you can move on though. So you need to uh, pick ax and shovel. Uh, so we'll work on that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a tool that will be very useful, but uh, it's probably not telling us again. So because I know a bit about this pack, you might see me jump ahead and do a few things here and there just for fun. Uh, but uh, hopefully that's okay. So we're going to use these shears. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, crazy. I didn't actually get a replacement there. Not a big deal because uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll get a lot from it. 
So this is the the fun part, me waiting for it to grow. Let's just put it here. Now you can say why I said you know you might want to uh, plant multiples because you get more chance, right? It's it's not like it divides it up into which one. It's basically okay. Here you go. You get a chance to have that one grow, this one grow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there you go. You just go like this, and one of these will fly up in the sky. Oh, there you go. Fly up in the sky. Watch this. Now, if you use your shears on this, watch the value of my EMC when I throw this in here. 877, just like that. So that's why it's important to do the, the shear method, basically. So let's go in here and get the gravel. And let's shift click. So we were able to make a lot of gravel out of that. And we're just going to get a bunch of flint here. There you go. And we're going to make other tools as well. So we, we made the hatchet this one it, it basically depends on how you do it this is uh that and then uh no that's uh axe head right maybe it's three i didn't think it was three but maybe it's three ah there you go flint pick head there you go and then you can create all your tools here so these are tinker style tools pretty simple ones to make and uh there you go and we can go ahead and say we did that and the next one is oak plank, which we have oak plank, don't we? Oh, darn it. Okay, so something I didn't remember about this, which should be fixed on their pack. I forgot to report it when I originally did this. But if uh, you have to do it on an oak one. So it doesn't really matter how you craft everything. It's just that one has to be oak. So it's a bit of a eh. There you go. And uh, this next one, I don't know if we can even earn it because it's probably not damaged. Flint shears. No, so you're going to need to make new flint shears, which is not a big deal because you're going to make so many flint shears over time anyways. There you go. So get our banana split. And uh, what I would work on is probably the water source first. So uh, you can get ice in here. This is how you actually get your water source. So there's your... Your water source is your ice because you can break it, right? And it gives you uh, what you need. And then we can go say, okay, we can grab that. And then the first thing you want to get is your water powered uh, guy here, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to hit A on that so it's easy to kind of open it up and work with. And basically this is so important because this will let you do everything you need without having to worry. So it's flint block, lots of flint. So I think this is how you make the flint block. No. I should probably pay attention how to make a flint block. Uh, oh, you got to do the kiln. Okay, so you need to do... I didn't realize it was uh, that more advanced. So you need to do the clay, and uh, you can get the kiln. And to get the clay, um, you need to get into straining. So that's kind of cool. You got to get into the net stuff. So awesome. Okay, so uh, we can't quite go there yet. Next we're going to do is the Starving Artisan is the work table here, which is pretty cool. It's pretty simple as well. So we're going to need to get um, let's go ahead and we'll just finish this one up anyways. So look at your food saturation when you right click this, by the way. It's horrifying. That's just how it is, unfortunately. But uh, it will use so much of your wood. And there you go. We're going to take damage if we don't eat fast enough and we probably already... Oh, we just survived before we did. Yeah, you probably don't want it to start lowering on you, but... It is what it is. Okay, so we're going to right-click here. There you go. So your, your starter food that you obtain is very important. And uh, not you know using the least amount of this is also important. Oh, I guess I had the crafting table here. Probably going to need it still. So uh, let's make another crafting table. And oh, yeah, because you need a crafting table for this recipe, actually. So yeah, I thought so. Um, there you go. And one of these are flip wrong. So this uses the tool durability. So you see it uses all the tool durability. So that's kind of cool. And there you go. And this is going to be a work table you use quite a bit. Like into LV basically. I think as time goes on you'll start using it a little less. But you'll still go back and use it for simpler recipes that uh, will use it. But it's a cool one. It has a fluid storage as well. So you can store all your fluids and stuff for that. Um... So we're ready for the water strainer, basically. So we're going to go ahead and make this. And we're going to go ahead and make this. And... Oh, sorry. And this. Okay. So basically, we're going to do a bunch of leaves right now. Just to get ourselves some materials here. 
And, uh, oh yeah, we're going to make ourselves a new pickaxe, or sorry, axe, which is way more superior. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this right here. And uh, I need sticks. There you go. And this is a flint axe. And the flint axe is somewhere around here. Actually, it's right here. And uh, why did this not complete? Oh, you need a stone mallet. That's why. Um, stone mallet. Simple recipe. I was going to say, that's kind of weird that it didn't work, so... There was a, a second part to it because you need to, uh, you basically use tools in this thing and it, it kind of, uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's cool. And it's the stone mallet like that. There you go. There you go. So we got the other one done too automatically. So you put this in here and it's used for some of the recipes. You also use other ones like shears, etc. Okay, so uh, we'll get the tuna. We get a toolbox. The toolbox is pretty cool. Uh, you can only put tools in there, and I don't even think you can put Tinker's tools in there, but it's meant, say, for the shears or that hammer you saw. And then when you open this interface, you can actually play around with it as well, which is really awesome. Okay, now we're going to use our flint axe because we know we can do it. And look at this. Yep, it gives you that kind of logging ability, which is awesome. And we're going to go over here, dump these in, and we're going to get ourselves a bit more birch saplings. Look at that. You can hold 45. There, are, It's equivalent exchange, right? So even if you grab a bunch like I did there, which you don't need, it doesn't matter because you can just throw them back after. Um, that's why they call it equivalent exchange. Everything is the same value. You're not going to lose any value off of it. There you go. And we'll get rid of that. And then basically what we're doing is we're just farming saplings. And saplings are our currency right now. And this will get us uh, some of the things we need to do over time, basically. There we go. Awesome. And take you out. Sounds wrong when I say that. Take it out now. There you go. And awesome. Yeah, one of my, uh, my other series, I call it the classic version of this, where I, I'm learning the basics. Uh, I actually didn't use the flint one. <laughs> and I think the entire time on the island, I never, you know, I was doing one log at a time. And so eh, a bit of an embarrassment there. But, uh, you know, everyone's learning at the first time, right? So at least the second time around, you know, I can learn, you know, teach a few things that I now know a bit better on. So, okay. So let's dump all that stuff in, including, uh, well, yeah, we'll get rid of the sapling. So there you go. Look at that. We're getting a lot of them. We should have unlocked a few things, like obsidian. You know, I'll lock up obsidian at 4096, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then I'll let us go further. So uh, moving on, basically, this is an important one, the water calder, uh colander uh the strainer base basically you want this one and i have it all set up here so the strainer base is made out of lots of wood it's made out of planks unfortunately uh so it does mean you're gonna have to do a bit more right clicking it was also requires chests so a bit more right clicking uh it, it's just a little bit more taxing when you first start out and then you got these guys here uh sticks which isn't really taxing. And then you got these guys. You can use string or twine. Twine is easy. It's just plant fibers. You're going to need some shears with that. So let's go ahead. I have some shears anyway, so that's not a big deal. Uh, so let's go here, and we're going to go for grass. And you can search through here as well. So grass is this here. And we're going to go through here, and we're going to dump the grass in here, I believe. And we need to use, so this is when you have a tool, right? You have to click here and put the tool in there. And then you realize you did something stupid. And then you got to figure out what you did wrong. So uh, unless they change this recipe on us, which that would be a little evil. Uh, the twine, oops, twine is created by, oh, plant fibers in the center first. Okay, sorry. There you go. There you go. And then the twine is like so. So. It's changed up a bit. There you go. And there you go. So we, we already got twine. And then, of course, you want to do this probably in a little bit more larger batches. Um, so let's go ahead and put you guys here. There you go. So you can just dump all these uh, tools in here. And then when you go say, oh, I want more of this, right? You just shift click and then boom. Uh, and then you can, if you really want to, if you're really lazy, you could just go and do that again, right? It'll automatically pull it in there. And uh, oops, wrong one. I'm a lazy person, so I learned lazy methods over time. And then you can make the twine, shift click, twine again, shift click. 
And there you go. So now we have uh, a couple stacks of twine, which then we can use for the other stuff. So uh, right off the bat, we need to make a strainer base. So that's a lot of wood. Let's look at the actual strainers themselves here. So this is the basic one, the net. Um, and you can go ahead and make that. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I guess. We'll start with uh, that amount. And then we're going to need some sticks here. There you go. And uh, so, yeah, the first one is like this. Okay, so it's regular crafting table. Cool. So I'm not going to... Well, I'll create what's needed for the quest, but I won't go further right now just because it'll take a lot of inventory. There's just one of each, I guess. One of each. Okay. So here's one. And then the other one is a dense net, which is basically putting the fiber in like that form. So uh, woo. We'll just play around here. There you go. And you get two of them out of it, so. And there you go. Might as well make two just because it doesn't matter. They both waste the same amount of inventory. These don't stack. That's why I was saying don't, you know, don't cradle a bunch of them right away. Okay, so now that we have all that, uh, we should be able to uh, go ahead and uh, let's get some shears here. And oh, hello. There you go. Oh, look, it did all that in one go. And we'll go ahead here, and we need to make a new pickaxe. And I need some flint, flint, flint. So gravel. Awesome. And then uh, there you go. Shift click. And was he already on before? I don't think our list shows colors. I think we have to... So these are guys just all supporters that have donated. So I just want to give them their donation rank. So I think it's um, ranks, set, and then bear Jew, and then supporter. Ah, oh, there it is. There you go. Okay, so with the wood, what are we going to need for these guys? Uh, we're going to need fence, so sticks, planks. And then lots of wood there, and lots of wood there, and lots of wood there. So, basically, we're going to have to unfortunately go through a lot of our uh, our saturation at this point. So, right-click. This is all about those planks, right? And unfortunately, this is this is how you build planks until you get that saw. A saw is phenomenal. I mean, it's the best thing you can never get, really. But till then, this is just how it is, so... go too bad you can't like shift yeah <laughs> i thought maybe i could uh oh there you go oh we're screwed darn it i took one damage i was hoping i didn't take any damage but i unfortunately took damage so we have saturation if you hit your end key you see my saturation going down my fruit's high because this started with fruit um it's getting a little low now because uh when you first start, you can eat like, say, six or something free f pieces of food before it starts going, but now it'll go slower. But because it gives you so little, you don't get taxed so bad. So you can still eat, but it's just way, way slower. There you go. So we'll go right click, right click. There you go. Awesome. And then what we'll do now is, uh, yeah, we need more actually, I think. So I don't know exactly how much more we need, but we need, uh, it's not like I did the math here, but uh, you need quite a bit of it, unfortunately. So it's just not much you can do. Oh no, my tool broke, which I think your tool you can't repair. I've never actually tried throwing. No, I don't think you could. Um, you just throw it over the edge. <laughs> And uh, so you get another axe going here. You put your there. There you go. And you can continue on. Actually, I don't know if you can do that with the other tool. I never thought of trying that. The, the one I don't even have right now. But Okay. We're off by like a little bit. Oh, that was actually not. I thought that was, huh. So I think maybe it's time we try another meal. Damn, poor guy. His internet's really bad. I don't know if he'll be able to play. 
I hope he can because he's a good guy. Um, he's uh, he works at an oil rig in the middle of a desert right now, so he's a uh, unfortunately doesn't have the best internet out there. So he's trying his best. So hopefully uh, he can he can play. Uh, so we're gonna make first our chest, which I don't know what I was just clicking around like a sane person there. Uh, I forget what the chest was, wasn't it? The uh, hammer. I really don't know what the chest uh, one is. So we gotta go. <laughs> It might be faster to just type chest and JEI here. So the chest is, ah, the saw. We have not created the saw yet. So the saw is created uh, with stone rods, sticks, and a piece of material, including a piece of stone. So uh, let's get some cobblestone here. Cobble. And uh, here we go. So we'll get you in here. And uh, yeah, let's do the saw again here. We'll just type in saw and just follow it. So here you go. Here's the regular stone. Oh, it's a flint saw. Sorry. And then you should be able to make your... Ta-da! We'll throw you in there. Your chest. There you go. And then uh, we should be getting closer here. So we want to make this, which makes you have to make with those guys. Oh, man. Here we go. We're going through this like crazy. Uh, and then you can make yourself the Whopper. They call them a Whopper MK2. Four slot hopper made out of wood. Kind of adorable. And it uh, doesn't matter if that goes right this second. And then that's basically almost it. Um, because then you got to make the fencing. So the fencing itself, sorry, uh, is made out of... Oh, is it regular uh, crafting for fences? Sorry. Did we run out of wood? We did run out of wood. Okay, we're going to reuse this. We're going to use this chest because my inventory is getting messy anyways. There you go. <laughs> um, okay, we were going to try as well. We wanted to see if it would work. I don't know if it will. But we're going to see if you can right-click with the other ones because I think they're cheaper anyways. And it's just better. Oh, no, that's a hoe, buddy. S still the normal style there. Okay. Uh, I guess we can go like this. There you go. And uh, there you go. Grab you guys. And then we'll just get rid of the rest there. Bye. Uh, so we're going to see if we can right click. Now you can't. So you have to use the rudimentary version for the right clicking. So there you go. Now you know. And we're just going to work our way in clicking. There you go. And we're going to have to do a few more because we're going to need them now. Okay. Uh, I don't have food here. Uh, I'm really going bad on the food today, aren't I? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you want to not have to eat too much food, but uh, basically it's a pretty crappy portion. I think I'm I'm thinking this right, right? Like, you do need clay for this. Oh, there's a quest that gives you those blocks. What quest gives you that? Oh, there was more quests over here. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so you got one for a chest upgrade here, which automatically lets you turn this into an iron chest, which is awesome. And then there's one here actually for flint that gives you the flint blocks anyways. And then you don't have to uh, melt them down. So oh, I can believe I uh, forgot about that. So you can click that and you get a ton of flint blocks. Um so it is a shortcut, but we were kind of going all the way to the other option, which is uh, driving us insane, but whatever. We, we did what we did. Uh, so let's right-click and get this stuff. Since I did this anyways, might as well uh, finish the job, right? And I don't have any more food on me, so... We're going to be crazy and eat all our food quite a lot, but it's all right. We'll, we'll show it this way anyways. And then uh, let's get ourselves you, please. Might as well still get our shearing of this stuff, right? There we go. So we'll put you in there, you in there. There was more in here. Boom and boom. There you go. And then, yeah, so uh, the water strainer, we're going to make the chest, of course, again. So here's the chest. And oddly enough, are we still going to be short? Because of the other chest we made. <laughs> the other chest we kind of needed anyways. But uh, it's kind of funny. Fence. Here you go. Oh, you're showing the... Yeah, yeah. Because different colors and stuff. Okay, there you go. And then I think you still need some more on that one. 
Yeah, you're going to need four more. Yeah, so we're going to have to do one more at least here. There you go. And uh, there you go. I'm clicking everything but what I'm supposed to click. And then the Whopper. We forgot the Whopper in here. There you go. And if you don't know what I'm doing, by the way, when I'm clicking, uh, this is shift click this and it just puts it all in here so you can craft it. And there you go. You got the water base. And then just to start off really simple, I'll probably make a platform and make this a little easier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just place this here, for example, and then you just have your flowing water running into it. Um, you actually get a quest reward for something like that. Actually, I don't know why we didn't get a quest reward here. Uh, oh, you need three strainer bases. Well, screw that. Uh, I'll do that after. I'll do that off camera. But then you go ahead and take your ice in here and you let the water flow and it actually, you know, you only need the one, uh, you can go like this and there you go. And the water flows into it. Actually, I don't know if that's flowing into it. Oh, that's because it's uh, one too high. There you go. Uh, so you'd actually have to go a little deeper, unfortunately. That island can't be deep, but I think this one can be deeper. There you go. Okay, so you can put this in here, and then you can do the same thing with your ice again here. Boom, boom, boom. And throw you in here. There you go. It flows into there. And then you can put your net in there. So uh, your one net you want because it makes clay. So clay is what we really need. And there you go. Uh, and then we'll just throw that in there. Wait, was that the right one or the wrong one? Well, that was the right one, the dense one. And there you go. And then you just leave this puppy. And oh, it has a show recipes button. That's kind of cute. And there you go. Three clay just like that. Um, but uh, yeah, then we'll let this go. And basically what I'm going to do is... Off camera, I'm going to make a couple things, and I'll show you how I made them. Uh, but basically, I want to do basically set up the base a bit more, and then we'll go and do a review of what I've did. But off camera, I'm going to do the clay kiln, which is simple. It's basically taking your clay and putting these down, and then you're going to smelt uh, something under it. And I'll, I'll show you how that's all done anyways. You won't miss a thing, and I will make this as well, as well as I'm going to automate this. So uh, you, you will see a very awesome automation of that when we get back. But uh, either way, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.